The uh, presentation of an advanced pattern I had never seen previously, and I did see it within the last two months, and our film date today is somewhere around November 25th. Um, what I found was the typical lower pube rotation in which there was symmetry in the anterior upper third, middle third, but in the lower third, it was posterior on the left side. Okay. Now, that was confirmed with doing a posterior to anterior spring on the rather flat part of the ischium, which of course parallels the pubic joint. Okay. And what fascinated me was the fact that sh this person, she had normal load and normal spring. Um, this is a person who did have x-ray evidence for a vertical asymmetry of the pubic joint. But when she came to see me, I, I believe I treated that first and then stumbled on this secondary pattern. And she had had pubic joint pain, SI pain, since uh, a difficult delivery. Um, several years back. What fascinated me was the fact that she had no posterior to anterior spring through her right ischium. Okay? And so the assumption that I made was that this was a very unique one-off, I may never see it again, in which the right ischium and lower pube was actually rotated, and I can't demonstrate that this isn't a real flexible model, that the lower third was anterior on the right. Now, I treated it the same way that I would treat it if it was posterior on the left, in which I put a piece of two-inch foam under the left ischium, and I have them lay on that for three minutes. And that, in fact, did correct it on both sides. Um, very unique, again, have no idea if I'll ever see it again, but that's it. Thank you.